All right, I finally built my wood power rack. Um, I just want to go over this on video because when I was researching it, it was kind of hard to get um, some really good detailed info. I mean, I got detailed info, but a lot of it was just pictures, so there was no real videos going over it. But basically, I took a little bit of a uh, little bit of stuff from everywhere I found, and it kind of came up with my own, and uh, I kind of screwed up on some measurements. And um, I'll list them down at the bottom in the description or on the fitdagchris.com website so you can really look at the measurements and stuff. But basically, I use two by sixes, um, two in each corner. And basically, I used lag bolts uh, here. And then I had these other uh, lag bolts that were pretty sweet. Uh, in the other video where I go over putting these together, I go over the actual names. And I, like I said, I'll list them at the bottom. But I did them, you know, pretty much I spread them out pretty well. Um, and I also used wood glue on the, um, you know, in between. Uh, basically, uh, the original plan I had seen had the two by the two by six like this, and I decided to go with two two by sixes, and I went like this because I wanted it for the holes here. But you know what? Hindsight, I think I would have done a two by six like this and a two by six like this, which would have actually let me use this pull up bar, which I believe it's a forty eight inch pull up bar, and I wouldn't have had to cut it. But what happened was when I when I made these bars, um, when I made these two by sixes wide like this instead of like this, it made them go out further, and I wasn't going to be able to get the Olympic uh, barbell to fit in there. So I had to go back at Home Depot and I had to have them cut the uh, pipe for me, which whatever, they do it for free. It was just another trip. Also, I didn't really like how I had to go in sideways on here. I would have rather have gone in straight like this, but you know what I mean? These are lag bolts. They're in there. I used a hammer drill. They're in there good. This thing, I've been flipping around this thing. It's not moving. Um, try to pick the straightest pieces of wood you can find. Basically... Um, don't get don't get the treated wood. It will shrink. It will warp on you. I, I read that a lot, but I've also I built a dock in the past and I used the treated wood, and that stuff shrinks up big time. So you definitely don't want to be doing that unless you don't really need it. It's more expensive, and unless you're going to keep this thing outside. Uh, let's see. I also for some supports there. You see that's white, and some of the two by fours. When I went back for some supports, I went to the culled wood section, which is basically any wood that has nicks or marks on it, and whatever. It's good wood. And you get it at 70% off at Home Depot, so I definitely recommend that. I have all these extra supports for like $17 as opposed to $70. I think all said and done, I spent about a buck sixty, a buck seventy, but I'll have the receipts so you can check them out too in the site. Uh, let's see. So for more stability, I basically got some Tapcon screws and I screwed them right into the concrete because I just wanted to be in there. I didn't want this thing flipping over. Uh, I don't think it's gonna, but I did that. I came down here. I made a couple other supports. And then you also see, I came, I put a 2x4 into the wall, into the studs, and then I got a little L bracket, and I hooked that thing up too. So, I mean, you know, if you're looking at this, it's it's pretty sturdy. I mean, it doesn't budge. You know, when I get on there, it moves, but it moves, it doesn't move a lot. I mean, it's, it's pretty good. Um, I ended up using um, piping. I think this was four inches or three and a half inch. Like I said, I'll have all the detailed listed down there. I, you know, I, I, I did this and I, I don't remember all the exact stuff, but I'll have it all written out for you. So in reality, um, you know, this is going in there. What I could do is, uh, well, I'm not going to take it off, but this just screws off. Unscrew that. Bam. Take it off. Got a one-inch washer there. Same thing here. Then you got your barbell here. I'm probably going to end up putting some, I bought some tape, like fabric tape. I'm probably going to put it around here so the bar doesn't really get chewed up. Um, that's about it. I spaced uh, I spaced all these out. I, I had the wrong size at first, and I screwed up the holes, which I was kind of pissed about, but whatever. It looks good. It's fine. Um, I got some support bars here just in case for the squats, um, in case I were to fall. But that's really about it. I mean, basically, that's my wooden power rack. Um, I got some more supports, 2 by 4 supports up here. Um, you know, be real detailed on the measurements. Make sure you go. I kind of really just wanted to rush to get this done. And um, I'll go over some of that as well in the in the full blog post that I put up. And um, <laughs> I also, you'll notice here, uh, actually, is it hard to see here? Um, I had these aluminum supports glued on here. So when the bar hit, but what happened was I was just about a quarter inch shy of my barbell fitting. So I had to take these off. And I actually, actually had to route, if you could see here, 
I had to route out edges so the barbell would fit. So there's another reason I screwed up. If I would have, like I said from the beginning, instead of keeping the boards like this, if I would have put the two by sixes like this and like this, um, I think it would have been better. I still could have drilled, drilled these holes through that. It would have been no problem. And uh, plus the bar, the pull-up bar would have been able to go right into into this, which I would have felt a little bit better about. But at the end of the day, it's pretty cool. I got my ring set up here. I got my uh, pull-up assist band. You know, I got the bench down there. Got that on Craigslist. I mean, everything. This thing is awesome. And you know, at a fraction of the cost, I, I would have loved to have gotten a real, you know, metal stand, like a rogue stand. But you know, they're six hundred dollars and. You know, I'm 6'3", so I built this kind of my size. It's 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 high up, so I can I can you know my feet are off the ground pretty much, and you know it fits me it fits me well. So whatever. And like I said, I spent a quarter of the cost on it, and I made it exactly how I wanted it. Uh, hindsight, I probably would have done a few things a little differently, but you know whatever. That's it. If you got any questions, um, you know leave a comment below. Hit me up via the contact form. I'd be happy to talk to you or email you about it. Um, you know, it's pretty cool. I, I like it. I like it a lot. I also did a little plyo box here with some plywood I had left over, which is pretty cool. I'll do another video on that. So, all right. Well, I hope this helps you a little bit. And um, like I said, please comment. Go to fitdadchris.com and let me know what you think. Thanks. Bye.